Pilot's YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about your ELT battery and what you can do with it. And I'm speaking as Mr. Fix-It on the Grumman Pilot's channel. So stay tuned while we have some fun with this topic. So we would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Hi, I'd like to ask you please hit the like button. It's really important to us. Thank you. Not seeing that like button being hit. Come on, please do it. Thank you. So we had a video that we did a few months ago, and we were showing that, you know, we were without power for two days. And so we basically took our battery, and we go ahead and um, we were using some things on the back porch. It kept our cell phone charged, kept our cameras charged. We could use lighting for the cameras when we were shooting video. But, you know, we've already showed what you could do with it, and here's the way we had left it after the last video. I had just taken a part of the easy light bolted it to the battery pack but now we're going to have a little bit more fun with it so let's talk about all the parts okay having a little bit more fun with it as we showed you before that's about where the batteries are and we produce a paper and you can about see where the batteries are in the battery pack i'm holding a light on it right now using the usb port at the top to feed the light right over here But anyway, you can see about where the batteries are in the pack. Now another key component of the dual port use that we're using for this battery are the dual ports. Now dual ports are available in a couple of different configurations. You have these right there that are marine grade that have a voltage display in them. Then you have the dual ports that don't have a voltage display you could put one of those in the cover and you would not need a battery so keep that in mind when you're choosing how you're going to set up yours and how you want your cover to be so stay tuned so as anything else with a project first thing we have to do is pull out our calipers and measure the battery we had to measure the inside diameters because we want the cap to slide into it and we had to measure the outside diameter so we know how everything's going to fit in everything so that's how we started it off with some good measurements and from there we actually grabbed a piece of aluminum and we started to have some fun so basically took a rectangle of aluminum and notched it uh, to go inside the battery box cover, drilled a couple, this is just the first hole for putting in the USB port, but um, you know, there it looked pretty good. And then I started to think, now where do I want to put the light? Where do I want to put the switches that we've harvested from the easy lights? And so that's what we began to work with. Now you'll notice the two little black dots there. That's because we wanted to be able to put screws in it to hold it into the uh, top of the ELT cover. Not really necessary at this point. Then we went and we got uh, Fusion 360, the uh, Autodesk, and we started with the basic idea of what we wanted the cover to look like. This is a solid, and then we wanted to be able to have it and we'll have it hollow so we don't have it quite so thick. Uh, we're also going to add a ring to the top of it to bring go ahead and bring the USB connection up because you might notice there's that center hump in the top of the ELT cover and that's where the top battery is, battery number nine. Now there are um, nine batteries in the battery pack. That's uh, 13.5 volts when they're all at one, exactly 1 1.5 volts. But here's the hollow version. Um, this is uh, version two. We've actually uh, made a couple of changes to it. But anyway, this is what got us started. And we went ahead and had one of our neighbors 3D print for it for us and then we cleaned it up and we started to use it now just to test out the methodology here's our battery pack we've been using for a number of years our usb connector and we've plugged in one of our wise cameras uh, the outdoor ones we're charging it so that we can go ahead and check out our operation make sure the battery's okay the charger's okay and it worked out just fine so stay tuned so now we harvested the switches and we drilled the little quarter inch holes for them and we mounted the easy light in its 3 8 inch hole and there's our com just about completed cover with the USB. Now we started looking at it, you know, it went okay. 
there was a couple of things we wanted to change and we thought about well underneath that black paint on the light it's a really a white light and there should be some silver paint underneath there now let's talk a little here about the connectors we got a rocker switch which is low profile but that 9 volt battery connector once it's hooked up to a battery the positive red wire is the one that will carry the voltage the black will be a ground so make sure when you're buying these connectors you get the right version and as you can see on the battery pack the little connector on the battery pack is your positive and the bigger one is your negative and they're reversed on the other one that we just saw now as I said I took a knife and I started scraping off the uh, black paint and uh, underneath there was a nice silver light now we had taken the uh, black paint off our red one and we tried the blue one didn't work out real well but here it is with it pretty well just about all off and the only other thing we did was we uh, attacked the shaft under the light because we wanted to have that nice and silver too now here's uh, some of the things that you can plug into it one of our uh, cameras that we use for getting good lighting plugs into a USB port now here's the completed port wired on the back side now we're, we haven't soldered everything up yet but you can see the rocker switches are still raised up a little bit we haven't dropped them down to low profile it's all a work in progress at this point we were playing with it dropping it in seeing how it fit and deciding how we're going to do all our wiring and solder it all up so that we can have our switch turn on our usb and a switch turn on our light now this is for ours now these are the connectors i was talking about again those are the ones that we're going to wire because if once we have this battery pack and we expire it we wear it all the way down now we don't want to have to go in there and have to resolder wire so we can just disconnect it from the 9 volt battery connector on the ELT battery and we can put it on a new ELT battery uh, a newer one that still has some voltage in it and now we don't have to do any resoldering so we can move this from um, used battery to used battery uh, quite conveniently and we're going to do that on both methodologies both for the metal cover and we're going to do it for the plastic cover and the plastic covers can get a low profile switch we bought those they weren't all that expensive but we were just thinking of our basic black cover it's going to have a USB port and it's going to have a rocker switch and it's going to have that rocker switch because it has a voltmeter built in and we don't want to wear the battery down just having it display the voltage all the time so that's why we have a rocker switch for that so stand by for a bit more fun here's what it looks like in profile but you can see how deep it sits in there and if we look into the battery we'll notice that we have a hump down there we might be able to get to either side but we're running for a clearance issue so what I'm thinking we're going to do is put some sort of a shim underneath your quarter inch thick that way when you hold on that way you'll have a little bit of a profile or more and give you more clearance at the bottom now we are going to have to solder to those tabs and heat shrink them and bend them but really not an issue but I'm thinking a quarter inch raise will give us plenty of room in the battery pack and then with the switch in there you're good to go by the way here's the difference once you scrape all the black paint off now this one would be blue underneath here but we had a white one and they just had it silver underneath and we've already scraped off our red one over here so those are the easy lights that we're using for our ELT covers. Stay tuned. By the way, these two holes, the one on the left for the USB dual port is one and one eighth inches in diameter. And this one is three quarters of an inch for the low profile rocker switch. Now, if you buy a dual port connector and it doesn't have the battery readout, then you don't need the rocker switch because you can just hook this up, plug it in any time. You just won't know what the voltage is unless you put a voltmeter in one of the USBs when it falls below 5 volts. So there's many configurations. You could just have a USB in here. We're having one with a voltmeter and a switch. And as you saw, I did that one with the two rocker switches so I can determine do I want to turn on the USB or do I want to turn on the light? Either one will be fine. So that's what that one does. And by the way, that blue is on there is much harder than it looks. Comes off here with a lot, great deal of difficulty.
Now you might be noticing the switches are a little bit lower profile. That's because I just back the nuts up on the back, let them sink more into the enclosure so they ride lower on the front. I like that look a lot better. So there you go. Now on that bad battery pack that wouldn't power the USB, we just took jumper clips and hooked it to an LED light and it'll wear that battery all the way down. And once again, there's a location of where the batteries are. Okay, having a little bit more fun with it, as we showed you before, that's about where the batteries are. And then we produce a paper. And you can about see where the batteries are in the battery pack. I'm holding a light on it right now, using the USB port at the top to feed the light right over here. But anyway, you can see about where the batteries are in the pack. So here they are. There's the one on the left. So this little rocker switch. Not hooked up to anything, and then here's this one with its two switches. Another version would be without having a switch if you had one without a voltmeter. That's all. So here's the plastic one all put together and inserted into the ELT battery. So that's what it looks like. So here it is, all wired up. Let's take a look at it. You can see it's all been soldered on the back. Nothing complicated. Stand by while I plug it in. And now let's put it in the holder. There you go. That's what it looks like. Two ports. No waiting. And that's it old DLT battery now with a little battery cover and you have two ports no waiting thanks for watching and here's the metal version that I'm going to keep and you have a switch and the lights on and the USB is on so that worked out pretty well and so here's the metal cover with all its stuff I can turn on the USB and get a reading and I can turn on the light, which brings the voltage down a little bit. But I don't have to have that. I can just have the light on. So I can have the light on. I can have them both on. Or I cannot. There's my personal one. And there's the one we made. Stand by for the final full test. And there you go. The battery is not good enough for the USB connector. It's below 5 volts. This is a June 17 battery. It's been sitting on the floor of the hangar, which is a bad place to sit any battery. Do not sit them on the floor. But now, watch this. I'm going to take some jumper leads, and I'm going to hook up the ELT I was trying to light. And, presto changeo, we are going to have light. Notice, we don't have enough voltage to drive the USB connector up here, but we have more than enough for the light. So we're below 5 volts. Well, that's one way to drain the battery down. I'm going to get a voltmeter and uh, put it on here, and I may just leave the light on tonight and see how it looks in the morning. Talk to you later. Now we left that blue light on all night and it's still on today and it's fairly dim but we did notice for a while it was flickering it would dim down then come back bright dim down come back bright now it's 
where it dimmed down it's much 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 dimmer today so it's good to know that if you needed a long duration uh, identity light that you could do it with about a volt and a half in the battery pack and it would last for two days so good to know and after looking at it we decided to go get some sticky paper and print a couple of labels so we know which way is on on the switches which one's the light and which one's the usb just dressing it up a little bit so ladies and gentlemen we asked for our likes you know please hit the like button for our videos it does help out and we hope you found all this information about your elt expired battery what you can do with it useful and informative we had a lot of fun making all the parts up and we want to share them with you and we want to ask that you tell all your aviation buddies this is not related to Grumman's we all have ELT batteries thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman hi I'd like to ask you please hit the like button it's really important to us thank you not seeing that like button being hit come on please do it thank you mm -hmm.